What happens when you're having dinner with pro teams in China but are also playing on an online tournament? <clears throat> I'm back from WCG and there are many stories to be told. WGLNA Season 3's qualifiers are taking place and I'll cover some go for what shenanigans. I'm Luke Nella, yes, also known as Dorjan for those curious, and this is the International Wii Show. Season 3 of the North American Wargaming.net League starts soon. So far, the knockouts and one qualifier have taken place, where we saw Season 1's third place, wreak havoc, drop from the league and refuse to die return. Clearly these guys have trained hard during their hiatus and surely will be a team to watch. Check out the next qualifier on the 2nd of January over at WGLNA.com. Across the pond in Europe, things are a bit of a mess. Let's start with the Pro League, as the playing Ducks decided to voluntarily drop from the league, making them the second Season 3 team to be overwhelmed with the demands of being pro gamers. Finnish team Freefall take their place, and WCG silver medalist Wusa also join them in the Pro League for next season. The World Cyber Games concluded last week. If you didn't see the highlights or daily reports, you can check them out here. There are many tales of sorrow and joy. I'll spoil just one thing. Germany knocked out Russia. Go watch. The Go For What monthly finals saw a bit of fallout from WCG as Mousebots couldn't field a team, whilst Navi, who weren't at WCG, were able to take down Virtus Pro 3-0 in the finals to grab that 1,000 winnings. I guess being able to rest gave them a massive edge this month. Now listen, I have a tip for you. If you're sat drinking, eating and talking to pro teams and admins, don't go sharing your account. You're only going to get caught. I'm going to leave you with Felix from Denova to help you pick a better lineup for your team battles. But if you want to keep yourself updated and to not miss any of the tips, follow us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. I'll see you next week. Hey everyone, I'm Phoenix from Pro League Team Denova and today I want to talk about the object for Hunter 16 and how to use it in team battles. Many teams are still trying to find good tanks for their lineups in the new team battle mode. The object for 116 could be a good option, let's see why. It has a really low profile, which makes him a more difficult target than most of the other Tier 8 vehicles. Its damage per minute is the highest on this turn. Add really good penetration to the equation and you get a medium that is able to destroy a heavy tank in one-on-one -on -one clash. His gun is also very accurate, you can easily shoot enemy tanks while moving at full speed. In addition, 416 has good karma, almost as good as light tanks of this tire. You can do pretty well as a scout for your team on open maps. But there are some disadvantages too. The object 416's turret has a limited rotation, so you can't shoot enemies while running away. Also, it might be difficult to attack tanks that are positioned lower than you, as its gun depression is poor. Its lack of armor means you have to be careful choosing your position and know the maps well. Talking about maps, the 416 shows its true power on open maps. Let's take a look at some wonderful position for the object on Sipis and Prohorovka. First Sipis, from the south you can take this position in J0. Many teams like to play on the 7-9 lines on this map. And having 416 here allows you to shoot enemy tanks like rabbits, while staying hiding and safe. Just aim well and you can become a true nightmare for the enemy, taking away their hit points with no mercy. However, make sure your teammates do not allow the enemy to get too close. When spotted, you can be easily destroyed. Remember to join your teammates as soon as possible if they are in close combat. Try to stay alive, shoot a lot and your DPM will bring your team a good advantage. Now, let's move to Prohorovka, another open map. If you feel your opponent is going to play aggressively, you can take this bash from the south and shoot enemy tanks in the middle of the map. Here's another good position, allowing you to damage enemy scouts. You will stay unspotted thanks to the bashes all around you. From the north, you can go here and cover your team. Your high penetration allows you to deal damage to even to some of the tallest turrets. As you can see, even a T-32 doesn't feel safe facing an object's shells. In my opinion, 416 is a great tank, especially effective on open maps and useful on city maps. Try to master it and you will enjoy it. I'm Phoenix from Denova and I wish you good luck on the battlefield. <laughs>